Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just one of the murders he's being hunted for. Did you refer to Harriet? She is now among us and under our protection. Harriet, Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. But I must talk to her. No. Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. I must warn you. She is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is filled with bile and hate. Her mind is sharp as a tack. Oh, she's she's mind. okay then. She's always been that. It's so weak. I've never seen it's like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. I will go speak to her. I'm concerned Father Hampton, or Sean Hampton, if he thinks it's a blessing from God that he's received, and he's trying to spread that blessing around, he could be converting people into skulls, not really understanding the suffering he's inflicting upon them. Right to the hideout. There's somebody I can speak to up there. I should speak to Harriet Jones first and foremost. Harriet? Your foot's not looking too good, madam. Or Hello, your arm. Harriet. Or you. you recognize me. Mmm, yes. You were from the Pembroke Hospital. The young doctor. So full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. What's happening to her? How do you feel? How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. My, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. Oh, you poor woman. Are you able to eat or drink normal food I should clarify have you tried to eat or drink something people here tried to feed me but I'm just not hungry I don't have the strength you're in a lot of pain then if you're dying over and over again as you say does the pain ever stop it is not pain I feel it's like a I can't stop feeling every inch of my body, but at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Oh, that sounds a horrific feeling. Did you fake your own death? Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a... We don't know if she did, fashion? Jonathan. To see if I would be mourned. Oh, okay, no, she did. And you fled with Father Hampton. Why flee with Sean Hampton? Oh, it's always a pleasure to see a saint fall to sin. But the coward still won't kill. Were you always a skull? Do you enjoy pain and sorrow? Do you take pleasure in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. You've got some pent-up issues. And, well, why did you come here? I don't think you had anywhere else to go. Why did you come here? And why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Do you, do you want to stay here? So you desire to stay here? Yes. I'm with my own kind. Birds of a feather, so to speak. Poor Harriet. Always alone. You I I'm not sure you're too well, Harriet. Would you would you obey old Bridget? Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. Okay. I do, however, have an important question. I have a question of the utmost importance to ask. Will you answer? Questions, questions, questions. 
the good doctor, always searching for answers. Do you remember what you did after leaving the hospital? Did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? Yes, we are both... We are both undead. We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. I relish the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone? Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. You wanted revenge? The shadows... Who was the murdered man? Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. I lived here for many years before falling ill. Oh, he was an awful man. Disgusting and cruel. So cruel. Are you lying to me? I'd rather you didn't. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Awfully don't convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. She certainly seems too weak to attack anyone, let alone kill them. But these shadows that brought you retribution, tell me about them. Shadows? Tell me what you saw. The shadows, they heard me and answered something in the deep darkness, quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. I answered... Yes! And these shadows, this presence, do you still hear it? Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent, but it is born of hatred. <laughs> and it will kill again, <laughs> and it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What me? makes you say that? It whispered your name, Dr. Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm tired now. Let me rest. I'll let you rest. Something is hunting me. Supremacy of Echons. It is no coincidence that Echons are the most eminent and most numerous of all vampires. Echons are the true aristocracy of immortals, and if I may add, they are the only ones able to stay at the top of the food chain. Everywhere I travelled, I only met Echons assuming mortal lives or forming an immortal society. Echons are the most human, most clever, most educated of all vampires. Don't get me wrong here, I'm nothing against the more exotic species like Volkold, who share the gift of immortality with us. Most of them can prove useful, if properly canalised towards a clear goal, but they lack the most important trait of all, the ability to mingle with mortals without being spotted. Therefore, the Ascalon Club should only accept Ekon of the highest lineage as members of its inner circles. Depending on circumstances, all cods could be accepted as war dogs or hunting hounds, as long as they obey our laws. Luckily enough, these lesser cousins have a natural tendency to submit and obey their masters. From the Lord, or the Law of Asalon, by Lord Redgrave, the founder. So, Fergal. Oh, hello. You okay? 
you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us. Spend time with us. And I may be willing to answer more questions. How... How long have you been hiding here? And how long have you been listening? And every answer leads to another question. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. And who were you before you became a skull? Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. What happened to you? You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Okay. I, I can respect that. It must be a very personal tale. Can I be of service to you, though? Can I... anything I can do to help? Can I be of service to you? We ask but one thing. Reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. I will endeavor not to. Oh, I feel like the answer to this is you've nowhere else to go, but why live here? Why do you live here amongst the filth and vermin? Live. Here we hide. And what are you hiding from? Well, it's going to be the Ekons, because they either want to exterminate you or enslave you, the Asalon Club. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light. And of course, our past. There's a lot of things to hide from. Could you not leave London? Why don't you leave the city? Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan. The Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. It's a sad state of affairs. What can you tell me about Harriet, then? What are those... Her, her leg and her arm are swelling up something awful. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own? The vampire's sweet blood, that rich, dark wine that we crave, for it made us, and it can sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. I must go back to Sean Hampton now. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Thank you. That's generous. Will I be able to return here then? Thank you, old Bridget. I hope we'll meet again. There are... Can we... Your spare legend, Isaac. So sweet of blood. So, these skull have more about them, but I'm still not convinced Sean Hampton will be able to resist as he believes he does. There's the arrows. I want to turn this place over before I leave. And then we'll have to return to Sean and make a decision on his fate. There is a safe house down here. And a weapon. A common mace. Well, it's...
kind of them to put me up, if they're willing. Can I craft anything? You know, I don't need to. Eternal gratitude for your protection, master. Protection? Oh, no, I'm nobody's master, and I'm not offering anyone protection. I can scarce, scarcely protect myself. There should be somebody hiding in the sewers I've yet to find. And it's not Harriet Jones. I think Bridget's in there with her now. Yeah. But I don't think there's going to be a real way to get to him from where I am now. I don't think the skull would be that careless. However, maybe not. The embankment sewers. I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy is lucky to be alive after Fergal's little rampage. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Um, well, you're set up shop incredibly close to the skull. I'm surprised you've not been got, to be honest. Are you all right, sir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Don't you know this is a quarantine zone? You're in a sewer. Reed. I'm investigating the epidemic. You had better get to a safe place while you still can. Oh, really? Well, go investigate somewhere else and leave me be. I beg your pardon? I said go. Leave me alone, sir. Um... You do seem rather distressed, but then again, your friend was just murdered and you are hiding from the wet boot boys. Rodney, you're the man who killed that gang member, are you not? Is that why you are hiding in this godforsaken place? Yes, I did. I did not even know his name. Then why did you kill him? That arsehole always mocked me for the color of my skin. Usually I let it go. But not that night. We fought. He died. Ah, oh, well... <sighs> Nobody should be mocked for the color of their skin, but that's... To kill somebody over it is a little extreme. And your friends kind of paid the price for that. You can't stay here forever, though. I, I have no idea if you're a cold-blooded killer or not. Is it cold-blooded? If it was provoked? I mean, it's not like you went out... You know, with murder on your mind, it was just, uh, you snapped. You got into a fight, and, you know, in the heat of the moment, he died. Is that it? Unfortunately, I have met several murderers during my lifetime. You don't look like them. I can tell you're no cold-blooded killer. You're right, sir. At first, it was just a simple argument between us. But the man had a bad fall. Believe me, Rodney, you won't survive here long. No matter what you did, there's you skull must right round the corner. To where you used to live. I'll go back to the docks then. But if I die, remember that the blood of Rodney Grader will be on your hands. Well, I'll bid you goodbye. I will try find you when you get back to the docks because I reckon you might need a little protection from the wet boot boys. Because. You can't stay here. You probably would just get eaten by Skull. But you may well just be eaten by Skull up there. You are wearing a mask though, so good for you for being sensible. And... That's that. Oh. What's in this basket? Or is it just moths attracted to the light? Right. I'm, I'm nicked some alcohol and some shillings. This doesn't seem to be the way out that Bridget pointed me to. I might just be an alternate way in, perhaps. Perhaps. Let's let's just have a little scout over here. See what we're dealing with. 
It's a suitcase. I'll have that. It's locked, all right. Right. Maybe somebody else has the key, but we're not going that way for now. I'm glad I sated my curiosity, because no doubt I would have wanted to come back and see what was that way if I hadn't investigated. Right, it was upstairs. Follow the arrows. That was what she said. And it is a little unnerving walking around these skull and... Well, simply walking around these skull. It's, com it's comforting in a way that not all skull are mindless creatures. But also, hang on a minute. Oh, these are their effigies. Oh, the effigies from before. Right, okay, so they don't even award people out. They've just proudly got skulls on the shelves. Gentlemen, that's a little morbid. Enter at your own risk. It's locked. I don't think I want to go down there anyway. But where? At least they're warning people. Oh, it looks like I do want to go down there anyway. Okay. The water must just be to keep people out. Where am I now? Oh, there's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. Okay. Across. Am I... It's locked, all right. Am I back in Sean Hampton's shelter? Because there are a lot of crosses around these... Desecrated corpses. You sneaky bugger. Back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? I are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Sean. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? You have some nerve, considering you could have brought me down there yourself, down a safe route. You sent me through a dangerous part of the sewers. Bridget seems reasonable. You seem a little, more than a little, unhinged. You got some nerve. You're harboring monsters under the beds of your clients. That takes some oh, nerve. didn't really mean to call them monsters, but they oh, sort of are. God's children, Dr. Reed. One and all. And he's determined to save us. I don't think anything is saving us from our condition. I mean, don't you see the risks of that? I mean, one skull giving in to their urges and... Well, your night shelter will never be the same. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? For the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. What's to change? Oh, like, you are a Skull now. That kind of shifts the dynamic, doesn't it? What about... the epidemic? Does this... Well, that won't change anything in your eyes, will it? But what about the epidemic? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen it. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. This is it. This is what frightens me. The whole pure heart thing. It is baseless. He's... Everyone's got a right to religion, but this man is slightly deluded. You... You're a skull, Sean. Do you understand that? 
You've turned Scal now. Don't you see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Sean, before, you were helping Skull who were beneath the surface in their own safe house, and he built a life for themselves underground. You are above the surface. Or rather, you are on the surface. You were mingling amongst mortals. You're eating raw human flesh as we speak. That's not right. You don't even own this place as well. This is an abandoned warehouse. What do you think is going to happen after the war? After... You know, when people are coming home to work and after the epidemic has passed and they want to repossess this factory, you're going to be... Well, A, you might have nowhere to go. And B, what about the skull beneath? They'll be put in danger. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. Bequeathed you through donation? Have you even met the Dawsons? Or what's your definition of bequeathed through donation? Did you meet the Dawsons? The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London? Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. Aloysius Dawson. That is a name we probably want to take note of. The wealthiest family in London. There's, are you, you're telling me in these last 10 years, not one person has noticed that you're harboring skulls beneath this factory warehouse. So you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice. As long as we keep to ourselves, we interest no one. This is a haven and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Oh, I really dislike Sean now. Well, I did meet poor Harriet, as you said before. However, she needs some special attention, I reckon. Something is not right with her transformation. Harriet, Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. Has she? She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet our Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. I, I still wonder who turned Harriet. What She wasn't a skull in the hospital, surely. Either I or Lady Ashbury would have noticed, you'd hope. Who is whole old Bridget? Have you got any clues to her origin? Who is this old Bridget? I don't know. She rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. That doesn't surprise me, given um her clothing. Well, there might be older Ekon within the city. I she may be the oldest skull. Let's put it that way. But Harriet, she's. She is a, an incredibly hateful person, and that was before she became a Skarl. You don't think she's going to be a risk? Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own client, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger Skarls, guiding them to salvation and peaceful existence. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I... 
I don't follow. Or rather, I'm worried I do follow, but please clarify. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Oh, no. Take, eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. He's a lunatic. Turn. Wait, I can feed him my blood. Can I heal him? Oh, no. Right, okay. Leaving him as he is is not an option. That leaves embracing him. However, without... Sean, the docks are probably going to fall apart. He seems to be the only thing kind of offering shelter and support to those who need it. I think then our best bet is letting Sean drink off my blood. Would that make him a vampire or... I mean, he's already undead. Can you turn a skull into a full vampire? I guess we're going to find out. My discover is vampire blood would enhance your metabolism, perhaps even heal you. If what old Bridget says is true, I'll give you some of mine. I, I'd rather not. It would be extremely awkward. Awkward? You have no choice, Sean. It's the only way to protect your chapel, those still amongst the living. No, Dr. Reed. God made me this way. Who am I to disobey his will? You believe that God's plan was for you to be abandoned at birth? <sighs> the Lord works in mysterious ways. I can't imagine God intended for you to be molested by a priest in an orphanage. Drink, friend. No. I said, kneel and drink. Now. Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to have to wash my arm thoroughly after this. Oh, oh easy now. Got so much blood to go around. Oh, Sean, you okay? I don't think he's okay. I, however. Might need to leave him be. I think it might be wise to return tomorrow night and check on Sean. I don't think I could stray too far. Right. Well. Is that a scream? Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Who the hell is this?